uh, for those I don't know, uh, I've been a entrepreneur business owner now for the last uh, 39 years. I've been working from home on a full-time basis now for 34 years. I've um, been working online for more than 20 years now and working in the blockchain cryptocurrency space for more than eight years. Uh, built organizations over 100,000 people multiple times, founded companies, owned companies, uh, managed companies, consulted, developed software that runs companies. Not to brag, but just to give you some context that I that gives me license to share some experience. You know, I've, I've had some great successes, had some great failures, had some... Uh, things are going really well and things haven't gone so well. And, and it's those things that teach you a lot. My question to you today is why are you here? Why are you taking time out of your Sunday? I hope you came here to get something valuable. So please remove all distractions. There's actually no recording of the session, no screenshots, please, if you can respect that. And I hope you came here to, to make a positive impact because I'm going to give you some invaluable information today. It's really going to help you progress. This is your chance to start a fresh story. You know, three years ago, I was there at the very start of the first Daisy Crowdfund project. And many of you may have heard my story, how we were able to create over $100,000 in referral commissions on our first day. And that's a story I can tell for the rest of my life. What about you? Have you got a great story a success story that you can share with people that immediately captures their attention and their focus. If you haven't, this is your moment. This is your moment with the Blockchain Sports Project to do that, to create a personal story that has lasting eternal value. One thing my business partners and I always do is we look at a project, we always analyze what do we need to do personally to extract everything out of the business and leave no money on the table because we approach this as a business. It's not a hobby. We're not actually playing with it. We're not dipping our toe in the water. If I do something, I'm a hundred percent in or not in at all. I don't know about you, what, what, what you do, but for me, that's what works. So I'm going to share with you today also some things that will ensure that you don't leave money on the table. You know, it's very important to learn from your past. Maybe up to now, you haven't created the actual level of success that you aspire to. And you're thinking, you know, can I really do this? The thing is, don't get stuck in the past. I've been knocked down like Rocky so many times. But one thing I don't do is I don't stay down. I get up and I go again and I rip the rear vision mirror off for the past. I throw it out the window and I get focused on the road ahead. The thing is, it doesn't matter what your past is up to now, don't repeat it. Don't make the same mistakes. Learn from what happens. And also understand that action is going to get you a lot further than overthinking. A lot of people are going to look at this and they're going to overanalyze it and, and, and be paralyzed in procrastination because they're trying to understand everything. You don't need to understand everything. When you drive an actual motor vehicle, all you need to know is how to drive the vehicle. That's hands at 10 o'clock and 2 o'clock, the accelerator and the brake, how to turn it on and get in motion. When you're teaching your teenager how to drive a car, that's all you're trying to do is get them in motion because the experience that they want is to have freedom. They want to get out of the house, join their friends and their girlfriend or their boyfriend and leave mum and dad. And, and the experience of getting into motion is what gives them the motivation to want to try harder to learn how to drive that motor vehicle. That's my job today is to help you get into motion, moving towards your goal so you can actually achieve something that's going to be meaningful. We're going to focus on how to how to engage the lowest hanging fruit. Not This is not the time to be chasing after the analytical people who want to ask 5,000 questions and still don't do anything. We're after the action takers. I hope today that you're here because you are an action taker. And I'm going to show you how to leverage tools and systems and other people. Because remember I said, to preface this presentation today, you only get one chance to create your success story in this. You know, we've just gone live a couple of days ago. It's still early days enough to create a significant success story. So on that note, 
let me grab the slides. Okay. So let me just hide that. Okay. So blockchain sports limitless. You know that the Daisy, as far as the crowdfund community, is now called Limitless. What a great name. So, you know, we used to be D Daisy, decentralized AI systems, but we're much bigger than that. So just like many iconic companies have changed their brand, so have we. So we're now called Limitless and Blockchain Sports is the next project that the Asheville Crowdfund community is helping to raise funds for. So important to know that. And Basically, you're going to get benefits of real-world rewards and blockchain rewards. I'm going to skip through some of this because, because I've already done a presentation yesterday that you can watch that went through detail. Jeremy's done it. There are lots of video recordings. So today is not an opportunity presentation. It's really to get into the nitty-gritty. We're going to talk about the benefits involved, the different types of packs that are involved. So I'm just going to skip through some of these things because... I want to really get down to the nitty gritty. Now you can partake in this for as little as a hundred USDT. That'll actually give you this pack, the Academy pack, and you'll be able to earn off your direct referrals, but you won't be able to earn anything else. So if your referrals refer other people or you've already built a team, this is not for you. You want to advance at least to the minimum of the $500 pack. And you have to get the $100 pack as well. So every founder's pack you get, you need to add the $100 pack as well. So it'll be $600 here. Important thing to note is there is a lot of calls to action here. As I said yesterday, there are only 400,000 of these $500 packs. Once they've gone, they're gone. They're not going to change it and add more. Each of these different founder packs is only a certain amount. And so you need to be sensitive to that, that this is not a time to snooze, not a time to overanalyze. It's a time to work out what do I need to do to get from A, where I am, where I'm probably not happy, to B, where I prefer to be and living the life that I really wanted to live, not the one I actually put up with and suffer right now. Then we upgrade to the $2,000 pack and you only pay the difference between the last one you paid and this one if you're upgrading. And again, there's only 100 thousand of these packs okay at the two thousand dollar level at the 20 at the eight thousand dollar level there are only twenty five thousand and again if you're upgrading from two thousand to eight thousand you're going to pay the six thousand dollar difference but there's only twenty five thousand these once they've gone they're gone the 25k there's only eight thousand of those now we've got two hundred and thirty thousand people in the actual community doesn't take much to understand that this crowdfund project could reach its full goal in less than the six months that they've set aside for it. It could well happen within a month or two months or three months. So you don't have time to sit there and actually procrastinate if you really want to capitalize on this. The 50K pack, there's only 4,000 of those. And the 100K, there's only 2,000 of those. And there's already a number of those that have already gone. Now, each of these founders packs comes with growing benefits. As Ilya shared in that call yesterday, it's like the actual Russian doll. You know the Russian doll where you've got the bigger doll inside is the next bigger, the next downsized doll and the next one. So it's got basically got six little dolls inside it. And the same here, we've got different packs that starting from the base level that come with different benefits. What are those benefits? Well, the first thing is you get these nodes. It's like a minting machine. You know, we understand that if we had if I was a treasury of gold coins and we were minting into circulation those coins, we grasp that visual image. It's the same here. We've got digital minting machines, these nodes that mint into circulation the token or the cryptocurrency that has to be used to, to for every transaction and process in this ecosystem that we are funding. We are, what are we funding? We're funding the development of an actual blockchain ecosystem that's going to allow all these things for the football industry to happen, to have our own clubs, our own training facilities, um, as far as the players and player contracts and media rights and 
um, um, sports sciences and all these things. And all these things are going to be based around blockchain technology. We get, That's how we're going to transform this industry that's been governed by a very small group of people, actually democratize it and allow you to own a piece of a football stadium as far as a training facility, um, all these players, media rights, health sciences, and a lot more. You may not be the actual billionaire who can afford to actually buy a club, but now you can have a part of one. And we'll have our own clubs, our own training facilities, our own up-and-coming talent that we're going to be nurturing and ultimately reaping the rewards. So you see, with each pack, you're getting additional nodes. That's like, a, as far as a printing press, that's pumping out daily more and more of these tokens that you can either hold on to as they actually appreciate in value. So you're looking at this and going, will this project have potential upside? Well, it's got actually backing by the Brazilian government at a government level. The sports minister and many other high ranking politicians have given their rubber stamp behind this project. They've offered over 1500 football fields to towards this project. We've got a third party valuation from a, from a, 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 a global company who does this, who's already valued the technology we have right now, today, not the future, today at over $1 billion. There's actually a copyright that comes with that, which means that anybody who tries to copy this concept or aspects of our blockchain ecosystem would be in breach of an international copyright, which means they can't do it. So we have exclusivity to this. On stage in Dubai, we had 40 plus iconic football stars who played for World Cup games. They played for countries, played for leading soccer cl clubs around the world. I'm not a big soccer fan, but I love watching a good game. But the people who are, are in that in the know of, of all these players were blown away that 50 iconic players were on stage putting their brand behind this. So we get a chance to partake in all this. Is it? So what I was getting at is, will this token have value? Yes, because we've got government backing, third party value valuation. We've got, we're already in the process. This has had already 18 months of development of a $30 million put into it. The actual IT development team has close to 300 blockchain programmers developing our own blockchain our own ecosystem. It's a bit like Elon Musk with his Tesla factory. He said, I don't want to be dependent upon other people to build my motor vehicles. I want to control the manufacturing as much as I possibly can. The same here. We're not putting a brand on somebody else's product. This is something that our technical team is developing from the ground up. This is our in-house technology. And in fact, the, the, the project people behind this is over... I have 1,000 employees in total that are involved in developing this whole ecosystem. You'll see in the third column, there's digital rewards. So as you increase the various founder pack that you upgrade to, you get access to the token, the, uh, the Atla coin. You get part of the fee generation for validating transactions. How do you think MasterCard, Visa, Amex, uh, Apple Pay, Google Pay, and all and uh, all these other payment systems become multi-billion dollar companies because they make fees on every transaction. This morning, we went to a restaurant at breakfast. I swiped my card. Guess what? MasterCard's making some money. The bank's making some money. We understand that fees are generated in all the financial ecosystems around the world. Well, in our ecosystem, there's also fees being generated, and you can share in that. Blockchain explorer fees. So people are, are, are searching through our blockchain and taking advantage of different systems. Wallet transactions, where we're moving tokens and funds between wallets, where we're moving uh, funds from different blockchains. So our particular blockchain is at the highest level and we'll be able to in engage and interact with um, uh, the Ethereum, Polygon, other blockchains. Again, I'm not a highly technical person, but I can, I can relate it to the fact that our blockchain is going to be able to interact with as many other blockchains and projects as possible. And that generates fees as well. And we've got our own decentralized exchange rather than that, I'm an exchange that's 
changing, you know, fiat to crypto and crypto to crypto and crypto back to fiat and some private companies getting all the profits, those profits are being shared amongst us. And exchanges are very big revenue generators. And guess what? As you advance from one pack to the next, you're getting a share of that. And in addition, we're getting real life business royalties. Because you may talk to some people about nodes and minting and blockchain and they're rolling their eyes over and going, I don't know what the hell you're talking about. But I bet they can relate to income that you get from owning a football club for the training facilities that 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 nurture up and coming players, that the actual royalties that come from these players, the transfer fees and the sign-on fees that happen, the royalties from sports science and performance technology. I mean, picking which player these days is coming down to science. They're looking at their blood count, their actual as far as their DNA, as far as their brain activity, their actual reaction time, and they're now selecting players, not only on their actual determination and talent and their history, but what is their physical makeup at all those levels and analyzing whether somebody's more suited to a single sport, single person sport like a tennis or, or golf or as far as a team sport, for example. So this is big, big business. Royalties from research and development as we develop technologies to track soccer players and other athletes. So for example, to look at how a soccer player actually strikes the ball and analyze that technique and see if we can make it better and actually more effective with less effort. As far as recovery and stretching and all sorts of things and royalty from gaming and entertainment, you know, uh, as far as the metaverse and virtual games, so it's a huge industry. Again, I'm not a gamer. As far as my son's actually, actually develops games. He's got lots of IT degrees and, He's into that world since he was 12 years of age. It's not my thing, but I understand it's a multi billion dollar industry. So we can talk to everyday people who understand the actual physicality of real estate, media rights, contracts, as well as these digital benefits. And we get to partake in different aspects of the referral plan from the first thing is people often say, you know, how do I get my money back? How do I get to a stage where I can actually recoup what I put in? So I'm now playing with house money. I'm not playing with my own money. Well, they designed a founder's rebate bonus, which I'll talk more about, where you can get back your full contribution. So whatever level you can upgrade to, even up to the $100,000 level, you can potentially get that back in full in addition to all the rewards you would have got anyway. And we've got 10 levels of actual referral as far as the referral plan, which can actually pay you on a lot more than that because of the way it's actually been designed. And breakage bonus pool, what does that mean? Well, in most actual referral pay plans, there's a lot of commissions that are not paid out because of the way the plan is designed. And often that's kept by the company or it's what the company needs to be profitable. But in this situation, the founders have decided to give it all back to us. So they're taking all the unpaid commissions and actually distributing that back to us, the community, through various bonus pools. And in addition, a share of all the revenue from all these real world assets and all these virtual blockchain assets is going to be distributed back through us as well. I'll talk more about that. So I'm just going to skip through and get to the my second presentation where I go into a bit more of the breaking it down. Okay. Let me just make sure. Um, sorry. If you can just give me a, a a yes in the chat. So I'm just going to go back to where is my Zoom. Sorry about this. I have two PowerPoints exactly the same parting slide. If 
if you can just let me know that you're seeing the uh, pay plan, it's the one, it's the one I want. It's all, right. it's all good now. Okay. So what's in it for you? That's the primary question that most people ask. Well, you get tokens from the node minting. People are going to say to you, well, what's that worth? We can't tell you. We can't tell you what that's worth because that would be improper because not just like I can't predict the price of, of Ethereum or Bitcoin or any cryptocurrency, that the blockchain hasn't been launched yet. It's in development in the next few months, the actual testing phase that will go live. And around September, they're looking to launch this. So this is not about looking at this like the Endotech project where you're putting some funds in and looking for some outcome the next day and it comes in every single day. It's not that sort of project. These tokens will start minting this week if you purchase the founder packs. These nodes will start to produce these tokens, but you won't be able to immediately cash them in because that's not how this works. You're going to get tokens that you can actually accumulate and there'll be a point when you can actually liquidate them if you want to or hold on to them. But that can grow in value. We can't tell you what they're worth, but on the law of actually supply and demand, there's a limited supply of these tokens. And guess what? The only tokens that will be available to the public for the first 18 months, which they need to enter, engage with our blockchain, are the ones that we've received from our minting. So think about that. If we owned all the gold coins and, and the only gold that was allowed to be in circulation around the world that the public could go and buy was owned by us, how cool is that? So that's so they're not going to dump a whole lot of their own tokens on the market to actually compete with ours. For the first 18 months, if somebody wants these tokens, they've got to buy it off the actual community. That increases the actual demand and is a limited supply which means it's going to put good price pressure on that as well. You've got these blockchain ecosystem digital rewards as people you know, do a blockchain searches and move funds from wallet to wallet. The um, exchange, I went through all this with you, that there's going to be a whole series of digital rewards. Again, we can't tell you exactly what that's going to be per day because we don't know because we don't, the blockchain hasn't gone live yet, but it's an ongoing revenue stream. And it's all going to come down to how many people are transacting how many people of these applications are actually live and, 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 and working at that period of time. But it's a growing project that has a real long-term life. We've got real-world project revenue share. So as we get players actually signed up and they transfer to clubs and, and, and all the media deals are done and every other area of revenue generation, you basically get a share of that and it's coming back to us. These are real world rewards. I mean, when have you ever got anything back from a football club as far as a training facility, player contracts, player uh, club transfer fees? None of us, have we? And you got the referral commissions. That's another benefit. That's So the first three are sort of the passive benefits and the last one is your active one. Now, where does the blockchain sports revenue go? How does it get split? So all the revenue from this ecosystem, from the from the virtual and the, the real world revenue streams, 40% of all the revenue is distributed back through the founders pack owners. So we as owners of the founders pack, we share in 40% of all the revenue. So if, if one of these players signs a contract for Arsenal or actually Manchester United or Liverpool. If I've insulted a few people on the call today, bear with me. I'm not a big soccer fan, but regardless of which club you support, we know some of those contracts are worth a lot of money. They can range from tens of millions to hundreds of millions of dollars. And guess what? Imagine, imagine a hundred million dollar contract where 40% came back through the community. Sort of mind boggling stuff, isn't it? 10% will go through the pay plan. So 10% of all the profits will go through the pay plan. That, that's an ongoing passive income that's only available to founding pack members. And 50% of that goes to blockchain sports. Obviously, they got, they're in us to make money. They created the concept. They're developing all the technology. They developed their actual relationships with governments and, 
and clubs and so forth. And without them, we have nothing to market. So now I want to talk about how do you get your money back? So no matter what pack you've got, but I've given an example here. If you purchased a $100,000 pack or you upgraded over the next six months from 500 to 2,000 to 8,000 to 25,000 to 50,000, all the way to 100,000, and you just had two referrals who did at least a $500 pack each, guess what? You are now qualified to get back your 100,000. Just think about that for a minute. How good is that? How many opportunities have you been in where there's a fund where you get your money back? Not out of your own actual commissions, not out of your own profits, but a separate fund that's put aside to specifically help you get back your contributions. How does that work? Well, out of that $100,000 pack, 40% is spread through the referral pay plan. Okay, so there's 10 levels of referral. So effectively 4% per level. 10% goes to limitless and blockchain sports for operationals to run events and, 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 and other costs that are associated with just running the businesses. 25% of this goes into trade where the trading team that are working with Endotech and their AI are going to take that 25% of all the founders pack revenue and generate trading profits. And when that trading profit hits 400% of the total, so for example, if we did $2 billion in, in uh, we raised $2 million and we did 8 billion, sorry, and, and, and we did 2 billion in profit. So in other words, let's say we did 2 billion, 500 million will be in, in I'm in trade. But that 500 million grows to 2 billion, then we're going to pay, well, they're going to pay everyone back. So, and then at the end of that, that funds that were traded, they go to blockchain sports because it was their money. So what they're doing is they're giving up half of their revenue into a fund to be traded to help you and me get our money back. That should say something about the heart of the pill behind this project. Because that, again, I've been in this industry full-time for 34 years now, and I have not seen that happen ever. And of course, the other 25% does go to blockchain sports to help them accomplish all of their goals. Because we've got some pretty ambitious goals. When you're developing football clubs, I mean, training centers and, and all the things that go along with that, it it's, it's, that requires big amounts of funds. Now let's look at the unilevel plan. We have 10 levels of referral. So level one is the people that you have personally referred into the actual community. Level two is who those people have referred. Level three is who they've referred. And so 10 levels. Now, if you come in with a $500 level, you'll get, so whatever pack you come in with, you'll always get 4% on your direct referral. So if somebody comes in with 100,000, you get 4,000 straight away. Pretty good. So it doesn't matter what pack level you're at. If you do, if you get a $2,000 pack, it means that whatever levels you're qualified for, you now get at least 3% on every level that you are qualified for. If you come in with the $8,000 pack, you would get 4,000. But you might say, well, look, Michael, I can only do 500. So am I disadvantaged? No, you're not. Because if you do, if you qualify for level four based on your personal referral volume, which is 5,000 volume, then you can also get the 3%. So you can either buy the pack or do the work. The same with the 8,000. If you do, uh, if you meet the, uh, as far as the qualification to get paid on level five, you don't have to have the 8,000 pack. You could have the $500 pack, but build the team volume. So by building your personal referral volume or building your team volume, you can still qualify for the maximum 4% per generation, which is very generous. Now, I want to talk about breakage and how it works. 
So see here in the green is you. So let's say you make a purchase. What the system does, it looks and says, who's the person who referred you? Your referrer. They're, they're level one above you. They earn 4%. Who introduced them? That's the system looks up line and pays the next person 4% if, if they're qualified. And it looks up until it's able to distribute through 10 levels of referral all the way uh, up to 4% per generation. So there's a total of 40% that's allocated to be distributed through 10 qualified levels of referral. Everyone got that? But let's say that you were actually four levels direct to the founders. I'm actually level one to the founders. So there's nobody above me apart from Ilya and Edward. Now, in this example, I've got four levels of people before I get to the top of the referral community. Okay. So the person the person who enrolled this person will get 4%. The person who enrolled them could get 4%. The person enrolled them could get 4% and the person above them. And that's the final person. So what happens to the rest of the 24%? The six other generations. Well, that's breakage. That's normally unpaid referral commission that would go to the to the, the project founders or the company. In this situation, that 24%. So let's say it's a hundred thousand dollar pack. That means that basically twenty-four thousand dollars has now gone into the breakage pools divided by the three pools. So there'll be 8,000 going into each of the three pools. So you understand now what they mean by breakage. Breakage essentially means that any unpaid referral commission in this unilevel pay plan is put into those pools and given back to you. The founders could well within their rights just keep that for themselves. They're in us to make money too, but they're giving it back to you and I. And you get those breakage pool payments for 30 consecutive days. And I can tell you, it's very, very lucrative. I'll give you an example in a minute. Now, here's an example of compression. You may have heard the term that we've got a 10-level, unilevel plan with dynamic compression. Now, we've actually developed software over many years that designs these referral pay plans. So I understand this very well. But I want to break it down for you so you understand. So here's an example of you in the green. You buy a $100,000 pack. Your referrer will get the $4,000. The 4% is always paid to the referrer. Now, if they started with $500, you get 4%. If they upgraded to $2,000, you'll get 4% on the $1,600. If they upgraded to $8,000, you get 4% on the $6,000, and so on. The person on level two in this example is not qualified to earn on level two. So the system will skip them and look for the next person who is qualified. The next person is qualified for level two is the person on the third level of referral. So it's going to pay them. Who's the next person who's qualified for level three? Well, it's not the person on level four. They're not qualified either. It's the person on level five levels above that is actually qualified. So you can see here, the system looks and says, who's qualified for two levels, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, and pay it to them. So in this example, the 10 levels has been distributed all the way up to somebody who's 14 levels above. That's what we're saying to you. You could potentially be earning on people that are 15, 20, 30, 40, 50, 100 levels below you as it compresses out all the people who are not qualified to earn on that level. So the sooner that you qualify for the higher levels, the more you're picking up the dynamic compression and picking up those commissions that would otherwise go to breakage, for example. Now, you know there's three breakage pools. The first one is what we call the rising star breakage pool. How does it work? So what pack do you need to earn this? Any pack from 500 plus. You don't need to have a bigger pack. As long as you've got a $500 pack and the, and the 100, you're qualified. Now, to get one share, you need to have 
that should be personal referral volume, not team volume. So I have my typo. If you have 5,000 of personal referral volume, you actually qualify for one share. And all the breakage in real time. So every time a transaction occurs and it's there's breakage in the actual commission payout, it's immediately actually distributed to everyone. If you had 10,000 of referral volume, the people that you've referred personally with no more than 50% from any one person. So in other words, I couldn't have more than 5,000 from one person. I get one more share. I can ultimately get five shares. So if I had 25,000 in direct referral volume, I can now qualify for five shares of this rising star breakage pool. The second pool is what they call the champion's breakage pool. And it works like this. Again, as long as you have a 500 pack or above, so I need 500 or above, your first, once you get to 25,000 in team volume with no more than half in one leg, so you can't have more than 12,500 in one leg, you get one share. When your total team volume with no more than 50,000 from one leg, gets to 100,000, they give you an extra four shares. So now you've got five. When you get to quarter of a million in volume, they give you an extra 10. Now you've got 15. And when you get to half a million in your team with no more than 250,000 in one leg, you get an extra 20. So you've got 35 shares. Now, uh, I can tell you someone I brought in yesterday, they brought in two people with 25,000 each. They only have a $500 pack. So they got a $500 pack themselves, but they managed to have two people to bring in that at 25,000 each. So that person qualified for the maximum five shares of the rising star pool. And they got their one share of this. This was actually about 20, 20 hours ago, roughly. And there's already more than $8,000 USDT that they've earned from these breakage pools. I'll say that again. <laughs> they came with 500. They brought in two people, 25K each. They qualified for five shares of the Rising Star, the one share of the Champions breakage pool. They're totally new to blockchain, totally new to network marketing, never done it before. It's all brand new. Took a punt worked with me to bring some people in and they've made over 8,000 USDT in their less than 24 hours. Probably could get, could get close to 10,000 in their first 24 hours. Think about that. He's already got, he's put in 500. He's made 10,000 because he just got busy with a couple of people. When Jeremy said these pools are lucrative, he wasn't joking. The legends breakage pool, the top one, when you do a million in volume in your team, you get one share. If you do 2 million, you get an extra two shares, so a total of three. If you do 5 million in your team, over the whole period, folks, over the whole six months, it's possible. Trust me. That would give you five permanent shares. That means five permanent shares of the breakage for the life of this program. So, what should be your strategy to 11.59 p.m. UTC today? That's today, folks. Sunday, 25th of Feb, 11.59. You've heard a lot about take action, take action. This take action is really geared for people who've actually already got a community. If you are actively building your community or have built a community and you want to make sure that you capitalize on anything that happens in your community, you want to make sure that you've bought a founder's pack. Minimum 500 plus the academy pack. So a total 600. If you're passive, doesn't matter that much. It doesn't really matter that much at all. So this session and this promo is primarily geared at people who are building a personal community, not for the passive person. I would encourage you to go all out and try and generate $5,000 worth of personal referral volume to get one share of the rising star pool. I've already given you an example that it's very lucrative. And this is only day one, folks. And remember, 
everybody in this four day grace period from when the system went live on February 21 to midnight tonight, UTC time, there's four days of revenues come through. But everyone is qualified for all 10 levels. You don't have to do the qualification. You're being, you're being gifted qualification for 10 levels. Tomorrow, it's not that way. You don't get the privilege of being qualified for 10 levels unless you did the work or you met the requirements in the previous venture for the those promo qualifications. So that means there's going to be a lot more breakage from tomorrow onwards. Tomorrow, there'll be a lot more money funding these breakage pools. So the sooner you get into action, because once you qualify for a breakage pool, you've got 30 days of payments, then it stops. Everyone gets a 30-day run at each of those pools. I would try to qualify for one share of the champions pool, 25,000 in team volume. You'd be surprised what can happen if you just get busy. Just get busy. No prejudging who wants to get involved. Just giving people a time-sensitive outcome that allows them to take advantage. What should you be doing before the end of the month? Well, I would avoid paying 10% more for your founders backs. Because you see on the table below there that in March, a hundred thousand dollar pack is going to be 110,000. In April, it'll be 120. In May, it'll be 130. In June, 140, 150, 160,000 in August. Do you want to pay a hundred? 160. Now, I'm not saying you may have the funds to do this. So I'm I'm not making any actual assumptions, but I'm just saying there is a time-sensitive call to action. Now, when I was involved at the start of the first crowdfund with Endotech AI, I got really busy. Six weeks, I just lived and breathed this. I didn't leave the house for, for, the, for the last 11 days before the go-live, and we earned $100,000 in referral commissions on our first day. And we put that back in to get another tier 10 of contribution to the AI crowdfund for my business partner, made another 100,000 and put that in as well to fund our third partner. So you can fund this out of your earnings if you get busy. Imagine this person yesterday, guess what they're thinking? They came in at 500, they've already made close to 8,000 in the first day. They've already got money to upgrade to the 8,000 level. And they're, they're talking about going all the way to the 100 and it's probably a good chance they're gonna make $100,000 over the 30 days. Are the cogs ticking, folks? Are we getting excited about what's happening with these breakage pools? Use your commissions to upgrade and qualify for more rising star and champion pool shares. The more shares you've got in each of these initial pools based on personal referral volume and team volume, the bigger your payout from these pools. And this can be really, you can make more money in the first 30 days than you've made in your entire career in this industry and make more money in the first 30 days than you've earned in your job for the last 12 months. That is possible. This person yesterday is already well on track. I mean, you think you do the maths yourself. Even if it dropped down to 5,000 per day over 30 days, you do the maths. <laughs> he couldn't sleep last night. He said, I was walking on water last night. I was so excited. Like just... Of the, of the possibilities. And he's completely new to this. He just got busy. For the first 30 days, qualify for as many shares of the rising star and champion pools. That's your goal for the first 30 days. Okay. You've got a, a goal today. You've got a goal to avoid 10% more by the, by the 29th of Feb, but you've also got your 30 day goal. And You've got the strategy to get your founders pack purchase rebated. That's you with a minimum of 500 and basically two personal referrals. That's basically what you need to do. So like I said at the very start, this is your opportunity to create your own story that can be talked about forever. You have a choice. You just need to make a decision what you do. You can think about it and ponder about it and time will go by and you're going to miss opportunities or you can just get busy. Don't prejudge who's interested 
just go out there and offer everyone the same opportunity. Nobody held a, as far as a gun to your head to make you get involved. You're not, you're not doing the same to anybody else. Your job is to sift and sort to find the people that are interested. So that's our mission. Expose as many people as possible and know there is a time-sensitive window. You can go to people honestly and say, look, I'm not here to hype. I'm not here to rush you. I'm not here to pressure you. But if you wanted, if you like what you see and want to take advantage, you should make a decision before the 29th because otherwise it's going to cost you 10% more. That's doing them a favor. That's not pressure. That's doing them a favor of saving them 10%. If you've got friends and family and work colleagues and people you care about, wouldn't you want to save them 10%? I would. So I'm going to tell everyone I possibly can. And then in March, we've got another 30 days, tell the same story. Guess what? We want to avoid you paying another 10% in April. So let's get you upgraded as high as you possibly can in March. This person yesterday who came in involved probably won't have enough to go to the 100,000 in February. He's accepting it's, it's going to cost an extra 10%. But his mission is to make sure that he's got enough referral income and the, also the rebate, uh, the um, the breakage pools to go all the way in March. What's your plan? People don't plan to fail. They fail to plan. I'm giving you the plan. The plan is bring two people in as quickly as possible, minimum five hundred, and duplicate that. Everyone knows two people. If you don't know two people who trust you enough to have a conversation with and outlay five hundred dollars, well, that's on you. Basically, you should have enough relationship with a couple of the handful of people that trust you enough to say, "Do you trust me enough to look at something, spend fifteen minutes, have a look at this?" There's a 10 minute overview video. You can invite where we're doing more Zooms this week. But fundamentally, I said, it's not a time. Don't get bogged down with somebody who's going to hit you with question after question after question after question in the next five days while you don't talk to the person who's got a need and you're ready to take action. The people who are over analytical, the passive people, come back to them the week after. This week, go to your lowest hanging fruit. Go to the people that are action takers. Go to the people who've got some money to spend. Go to the people who, who are used to putting their money to work. Go to the people you've got actual, a strong relationship with. Who trusts you? Who do you have a strong rapport with? Go to them first. Don't go placing Facebook posts and talking to strangers. That's, that's a hard process. It's a long way to go. You can do that later on if you ever get time to do that. Because if you... Once you've got your two people involved, what do you want to do? You want to help them get their two each. So your focus is now helping them get their two and their two. That's four. Then you help those four get their two. And now you've got eight people. And now you're tapping into other people's contacts. So you always think that it's the people that you know that are the key to your success. My first cryptocurrency project I was telling you, all I knew how to do was buy Bitcoin, transfer Bitcoin and sell Bitcoin. We made over a million dollars in five months. And the person who created close to 70% of our income was four levels of referral below me. So somebody that I've introduced, told somebody who told somebody who told somebody who stepped out and was a giant. And now that person has become one of my great friends. He's the best. He was the MC at our wedding last year. And I would work with him forever. So that's my what I'm saying to you is bring two people in quickly, help them duplicate. And now you're tapping into not only your own people, but other people's relationships as well. And also you're helping them to make sure that they get their founders pack rebated. Make it your mission to get every single person qualified to get back their money. Wouldn't it have been an amazing outcome if you could finish this six months and know that the vast majority of people in your actual personal community have got back their money? Give me, uh, in the chat, you'll see the actual reactions tab. Give me a, a thumbs up, uh, 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 um, the applause. If you think that a great outcome will be to have every single person in your community getting their money back as a as a Basic outcome. How many people would you like to help 
qualify for that breakage pool. Think about that person I talked about yesterday. How many people do you want to see making potentially thousands of dollars every day? How would your life change if you were suddenly making thousand dollars? I mean, this person was making five hundred dollars an hour. <laughs> he said, "You know, some people are lucky to make five hundred dollars a week." He was making five hundred dollars an hour just from those pools over the last twenty-four hours. It's while he was sleeping, he was making thousands of dollars, and we were the same. While we were sleeping last night, I was making thousands of dollars. So that's what can happen. So folks, I don't want to keep you any longer. I hope today that you've got a real good sense of what's going on. We do have in our YouTube channel for Crowd Tycoons. If you search for Crowd Tycoons YouTube channel, you'll see that I've already posted today the um, recording of yesterday's Zoom. And there's also some other videos on there. And I'll put this recording up there as well. Get it out to your team. But most of all, just get busy take full advantage. I hope you found today helpful. Uh, feel free to actually give me some love in the chat. Give me some, some reactions. I hope you appreciated it. I appreciate you taking time out of your Sunday to be with me and uh, keep an eye out on our, our Crowd Tycoons Facebook group as well. So for details of the other Zooms we're going to do this week, have an amazing Sunday. And I hope that all of you have an opportunity to qualify for these breakage pools and really get the most out of this opportunity and create a great success story. Thanks everyone. Have an awesome weekend and I look forward to talking with you again very, very soon.